there everyone, my name is Tom Henney. Today I'm working with the MP940 motion controller made by Yasukawa. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to delete the program within the motion controller itself. Now the reason why I like to delete the program, whether it be a new controller or a used one, is to ensure that I'm making a clean install of the program that I am going to download into the motion controller itself. Now with that being said, I'd like to scroll down here a little bit and show you the materials for today's project. First I have a Yasukawa Sigma 2 servo amplifier along with a servo motor made by Yasukawa and also the MP940 motion controller made by Yasukawa. And my project description basically tells you that I am going to be deleting the program within the controller itself and that's about it. I'm going to continue down here to step one. Here in step one, I'm going to remove power from the system and I'm, I'm going to place dip switches four and five into the on position. Now this is the test and the init dip switches and all the rest of the dip switches are going to be in the off position. I'm going to continue down to step two. Here in step two, I am going to power the system up and on my amplifier's display, BB will begin the flash, and on the MP940, the ready and run LED should begin the flash. Now this means that the memory is actually being erased on the motion controller itself right now. So if you had a program in there, you don't have any more. Well, now on to step three. I'm going to scroll down here to step three. In step three, once the program has been erased from the memory, you should have an AEO displayed on the amplifier. Now this is just an option board alarm that it's not seeing the option board most likely, but the ready and the run LEDs will continue to flash on the MP940. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit further on down to step four. Here in step four, I'm going to power cycle the amplifier. And once it powers back up, I will briefly flash into BB for a few seconds. And then I will have a pot not alarm, but you may also be into BB or into run mode. But for me, I'm in pot not because I am not using the positive over travel or negative over travel limit switches. So that's why I have this alarm because it is not seeing them switches active. And to clear these is another step that I have in another video on how to mask the pot knot alarms. Now that I'm done with my step-by-step -step guide, I'm going to go to the hands-on video to show you exactly how this is done. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to clear the memory on a uh, MP940. If you look at that red light there on the red light on the MP940, that's just a battery light. So pay no attention to that. First of all, what we're going to do is I'm going to power it down. And then I'm going to turn off the run switch here and turn on the init and the test which is switches 4 and 5 then I'm going to power it back up and if you watch the servo pack it's flashing BB along with the uh, run and the ready light on the MP940 and now that it's in AEO means that I have successfully taken the memory out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to power it back down. Move the dip switches back to the way they were. 4 and 5 in the off position. And 6 in the run. 
six of neon. Now I'm going to power it back up. It should go into base block real quick. And then it's going to go into pot knot after it boots up. As you can see, I'm in pot knot. And my MP940 is in ready and in run. Since there is no program in there, it's telling it to run. So that's how you clear the memory. Now that's the end of this video. So if you learned something or you need a question answered, leave me a message. Otherwise, I'll see you next video.